five, four, three, two, one, two, zero. And we have liftoff of the Black Brain 11 carrying Irby 3. Plus 10 seconds. GPS is tracking. Plus 20 seconds. Beautiful view of the rocket. Plus 30 seconds. Got good third stage ignition squib. Plus 40 seconds. Now in third, third, third stage burn block. Power robots motor. is enabled. Plus 50 seconds. Should be coming up on Verifying burnout. Verifying lanyard strip. Plus one minute. These are the onboard cameras you're seeing. Actually, they're payload cameras. You see the D-spin just we've occurred. Got third stage. Oh, we got D-spin. Have payload separation. ACS as you heard, successful. As you heard, we just had Confirm a clear payload separation. separation. Break wire. Nose cones, quip current. Verify nose cone micro switch. Receiving 422 data from the valve controller. You can see the earth if you look at the screen now. Such a beautiful view. If you look, you can see the motor falling away in the upper part of the screen now. Still receiving clean telemetry data. We're expecting inflation of the payload at about seven minutes after launch. We're actually T plus three minutes and 45 seconds. So we have a few minutes to go for that. These are stunning views of our Earth.
current altitude is 455 kilometers and increasing. Tank heater is on. Heater's drawing current. The rocket's currently flying above over 280 miles high. Some, we just reached apogee. Seen some, uh, seen some large variations in signal strength. We reached apogee at about 285 miles. The payload reached that. The payload is now descending. We should see inflation in approximately 30 seconds. It takes approximately three minutes for the experiment to fully inflate. Bag cutter number one. Bag cutter number two. A lot of cheering in the range control center right now as we see the beginning of the inflation taking place. We have a inflation command number one. And RC, ROA, channel one. RC. Be away from the pad so we can uh, start working on the Viper. Yes, we're away. LPM, ROA, channel one. Go ahead, ROA. We have our coordinates for, for the pad. Roger.
ACS aligned and fit. And enroll. CGO bus enabled. Aft to zero degrees on. ACS errors below a degree. RV-3 is returning to Earth and descending in altitude, as you're able to see from the screen that you're watching. CGO 180. ACS air is above 5 degrees. Right Sixteen seven. Zero degrees. Right damping. CGO 180 degree on. Dropouts on telemetry. CGO one zero degrees on. Dropouts on telemetry. Tokina still has good data. CGO buses disabled, I believe. We have a data back a little bit here at uh, readout. It's in and out. A lot of celebrating in the control center by the RV3 team. This mission was three years in the making and a lot of hard work that appears to have paid off for the team. No data for about the last 30 seconds there. 
Joaquin has all of us. And RSO ROA, have you guys uh, vectored uh, the lateral into position? We're in process right now. However, we're not done here yet, are we, Keith? No, next up, uh, we have, uh, as you can see, we have a group getting ready to uh, prepare a Viper uh, for, again, for a second launch. Uh, and uh, I guess we need to, to launch that uh, shortly here. Uh, it needs to be off the ground by approximately uh, 740. The uh, stiletto uh, that was mentioned by the test director is uh, supporting our recovery of the Erri 3. It is a uh, U.S. Navy maritime demonstration craft operated by the Naval Surface Warfare Center. Combatant Craft Division is based out of Joint Expeditionary Base, Little Creek, Fort Story, Virginia. Uh, also on board are uh, several NASA Langley Research Center team members uh, that will be assisting in the recovery of the ORE-3. Splashdown is uh, projected to be about 100 miles east of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina.